What is going on, guys? So today I'm going to showcase one of the most powerful but yet so underutilized weapon arts in Elden Ring. It is called the Storm Stomp. And basically what this thing does is you just stop the ground and it does a whirlwind. It looks very simple. It looks very bland. But let me tell you, this has a lot of 50-50 opportunities that you guys will see in the gameplay. So I don't want to take this too long, but basically what this does is if somebody was to roll dodge into you. So say this, for example, this is me and I roll dodge in to get an attack. If I preemptively hit the Storm Stomp, it'll catch them as soon as they get out of roll dodge and it can guarantee an R1 attack. Now this does poise damage. So if they have a massive amount of poise, probably anywhere between 80 to 100 plus, uh, it's not gonna stagger them. So what you have to do instead of that is to maybe do a little bit of a trade attack and then go into a stomp. And that'll guarantee a true combo in that regard. But this thing is so powerful. It, it really just brings the great sword class and, and weapon into its fullest potential. Because there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can go in for a, you know, a light attack like that and you can delay it. So you can delay and that can also sometimes catch people through roll dodge, which is crazy. But let me show you where you can get this bad boy. It's very easy, very, very fast. So you get the gate front ruins at the very, very beginning of the game. And there's actually a wet blade here that you can get as well, which is pretty important. So you go to the gate front ruins and it is the little cellar over here. I don't remember exactly where it's at. Um, I think it's over here on the right side. But there's a cellar over here that um, has the wet blade. Here it is right here. It's got the... I don't think it's... I think it's the iron wet blade. I'm not sure. But it's one of the beginning ones that you need to get. Uh, and it's in this chest right here. This is where Storm Stop comes from. Uh, you can use this on pretty much any weapon. You can use this on a lance. You can use this on a glaive. Pretty much any weapon. Any melee weapon. To my knowledge. You can... I mean, I got it on my... On my uh, Curved sword. So this thing's very powerful. But I think this is mostly going to be used on great swords and lances. I wouldn't use this on a glaive. Uh, maybe uh, the the uh, the axe could be pretty decent as well. This is a guaranteed true combo. Guaranteed true combo. Uh, the zwai even is guaranteed as well. If you were to stomp and use the, the zwai, uh, that one does the same thing as well. So, yeah, guys. Let's get into the gameplay and let me show you this build in action. I don't even know how to do this thing. <laughs> Stomp. Guaranteed. If anybody stays aggressive, you can double stomp. So he's using catch flame on the offhand. Look at that range, dude. That's why we like the freaking stomp. Got dual spears, we may as well pull out the uh, shield. Interesting. I am the true stomper. <laughs> if they if they stay aggressive like that, man, you you have if you have more poise than they do, um, you can really just just pressure them. And they they have to back away. They really have to disengage and move away from you, or they're gonna take some some massive damage. Get rid of that. You pressuring? There we go. Just bull rush into him, kind of like you're you're like you're one of those like weirdos with the madness shields, but you just bull rush in there with the stomp, and um, people that you know they can either counterattack, which if you get a health advantage at that point, we have 
104 poise, so we're going to pretty much be able to tank through most things except for great weapons and stuff like that. But this build is, is my strength build I'm messing with. I'm actually going to be making a lower level invasion build because invasions at 125 are toxic. You just get spammed by everything and their mother. So I'm going to go make a new character and get like maybe 80 or 90. Assessed is interesting. People can't get in close to you. And stomp. And see what they do. Anything gets in close. Oh, too far. And also does a little bit of damage too. <laughs> People that are, like to get in close, man, this is the true like the only thing that I think that would really mess this build up, honestly, would be just outspacing you with a great spear. But that really that's really one of the, the toughest fights, I would say. Just because they could just, you know, do running attack spam. But that's where you pull out the parry shield and you can parry some of those. Uh possibly. This is Ultra Great Sword user. This is where the, the build really shines, I think, unless they're a freaking god. Crouch poke? Yep, there's a crouch poke. We just got enough poise to counter to counter poise through it. So This is where you have to out they have, they're gonna out try to space you. Yep, dodge into me. Guaranteed hit. So you gotta whittle down their poise a little bit. Um, so he had more poise to tank it, so you so you're gonna trade with him. So what you have to do is you have to hit them and then hit it. And he tries to go aggressive, doesn't realize that I guess you have a poise meter and you can whittle it down. Um I mean honestly. In that fight, I would have went with my Fire Lance because I could have pressured with um, running attacks and would have, you know, done my weapon art. So I would have rather have, have, have used that in that situation. But we're, we're, we're showcasing the uh, the Claymore right now. So you have to be, be careful with people with high, higher poise. And this is another good build as well. The... Um, The, uh, dual halberds. Got enough poise down. So that's that's a good. So come in here. Boop. Too close. Too far. Stomp. Guaranteed hit. Those things will hurt. So watch out. Stomp. And get away from it. It's been longer recoveries. Alright, so he's a he's a bloodhound stepper. Oh, oh, he's gonna run away. So if he aggressively bloodhound steps in. Nice. Stomp. Have to run away. Now you got the health advantage. Now Bloodhound step into me. Oh. Yep. Yep. How you deal with those Bloodhound steppers? Because they can't get in close, so they have to completely change their play style at that point. Um, and if they're they're always super aggressive and they think their their Bloodhound step is going to save them in all situations and really get carried by it, that's where you just go boop. And it's just true combo guaranteed. Again, what would really kill this build would be a mage or something like that. But, you know, there's always counters to everything in this game. Alright. He's managing his inventory. Oh, that was at the very tail end of that. You also get hyper armor with it, too. So it makes it very deadly... And you get that hyper armor, 
And you do that stomp. Because it has some high frame. I don't know if it can tank something crazy and massive, but that, I mean, that was a halberd. I mean, it was one-handed. But um, you can tank pretty much anything, I would I would like to, like to think. Hello, sir. I wouldn't mind dueling these claymores, maybe. It could be fun. Gonna do a running attack. Nice. That delay. Stomp. Just land. Oh, too, too far. I should land. There we go. Good fight. Fully charged heavy. <laughs> it did a lot of damage. This is the first time I've hit a fully charged heavy in a long time. But yeah, I think I think this thing could be in in, in your arsenal. Uh, heavy claymore, any type of any type of uh, great sword, is very underrated. I think just because of this stomp alone, uh, it really can really can add to your arsenal of, of strength weapons. Just because it guarantees a true combo. <clears throat> Alright, got a shield. Let's see if you're gonna go parry happy. Stomp. Stomp. Oh, almost got that one. Okay. That delayed. That's a guarantee. Oh, maybe I have a little bit more poise. I should be hit. Oh, nope. Hyper armor. <clears throat> if they get too aggressive, the hyper armor on the stomp helps. Especially if, if they have bleed and they proc the bleed on you, that's really what's going to hurt you. But if they have a little bit slower blade, bleed build up, like with a... I don't know why you'd ever one-hand that weapon, but... If you ever one hand that thing and it doesn't block enough bleed fast enough, then you you're pretty much set. Get rid of that shield. Interesting. Stomp. Stomp. Yep. Stomp. We just got the quick step. fight <clears throat> you just stomp man i mean he has he had quite a bit of poise you could tell by his armor so i knew that i wouldn't be able to out trade him with that but it gives you a it gives you just a little bit of a little bit of poise damage where you can you know you can trade with the big boys and still do fine interesting Thing, a bum rush. Yep. Heavy. Yep. Boys for the boys. Alright, so bloody hell is nice. Oh, heavy. Get this not use a bloody hellas. Good fight. Oh, too far away.
Okay. Swap to that two-handed real fast. I'll stomp. Oh, high frames. People, if people dodge backwards like that, then it, you really can't land it on them. There's the trade. Nice roll catch. Hyper armor. GG's. It's just textbook, textbook weapon. Alright. We'll see a stompy stompy. Do another jumping attack. Yep. Stompy. Yep. Heavy. Yeah, I'll trade that any day of the week. Stompy. Yep. Good fight, my friend. I will bow to great sword users. Because you guys are one of a kind. But, um, alright guys. Well, that's going to wrap up uh, this video. I just love this weapon art in general. I hope you guys... You know, saw the showcase of it um, and really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend giving this a try in your arsenal. It doesn't have to be your main hand weapon, uh, like I've been saying throughout the whole entire recording. But um, definitely use it on your offhand or, or just have it just in your inventory if you are a strength build. This thing is very, very nice. But that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.